five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, from the most infected city in America, it's The Ramble with me. I'm Alex Bennett. We'll be here until uh, midnight Eastern Daylight Time or until we expire from the coronavirus, one or the other. It's uh, amazing. It's just amazing. Oh, well, God, I just, you know, was thinking about it today, and it just, I, uh, I just, this whole thing is starting to get to me. I don't know about you. It's driving me a little, you know, to begin with, I'm not in Montana. You know, I look at Montana, and it's not even, they, I think they just erased it from the whole map of the United States. Like, it, it doesn't even exist. You know, um, uh, how, many, how many cases they have in Montana? I don't know. I've, I haven't been able to check. But the fact is that they don't have a lot of cases in Montana. Well, where is Minnesota? I'm looking here. At, well, I'll, 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 I'll show you what I'm looking at. Uh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I gotta, gotta find the map. There's the map. See, and I'm looking for Montana here uh, on this list. Uh, and I don't see. I don't even see Montana. I don't think it's a state anymore. Let's see, Rhode Island is way down there. Oklahoma's down there. Uh, oh, boy. I don't even see Montana coming up on here. What? Are you going to tell me that there are no cases in Montana? Oh, well. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, let me reboot this here, and we can see the, uh, uh, the total. Uh, well, wait a minute. Let me see here. Uh, now that's uh, let me see here. Let me just let me do this. See, if we do that, we'll get the most up-to-date stuff around the world. And come on, come on, we're waiting on you. There we go. Here we go. Now the world will come into view in a moment. Here, worldwide, two million one hundred fifty-seven thousand one hundred eight people uh, are. Uh, confirmed to have the coronavirus, of which 144,047 are no longer uh, on this planet. Wow. That's something, isn't it? Huh? That's amazing. That's just amazing. I, 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 I kind of like, what's the word I can use? It just it gobsmacks me. That's a good term. The British use that. Here in the U.S., we have 760,353. So that would mean that about a quarter of all the cases in the world... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. A quarter of all the cases in the world are in the United States. Uh, let me see here. Also, if you look over here... They have uh, deaths by city in the United States. And uh, so far, there are 33,101 deaths, uh, of which 11,477 have been in New York. Uh, in Nassau County in New York, 1,109. Uh, we go down to Suffolk County, 693. We go up to Westchester, 668. I mean that's that's quite yeah, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. Thirty-three thousand one hundred and one deaths. But the good news is, it's down. Uh, we were at something like seven hundred and sixty-eight or something, and now we're down to six hundred and six deaths in one day, in one day. But that's good news for us. All right. We go look at uh, Spain, at, the, at Spain, which is number two uh, 
in the uh, death toll. 184,948 confirmed 19,315 deaths. Now, Italy is now in third place with 168,000, almost 169,000, uh, with 22,170 deaths. Um, hmm, that's amazing. What did we say New York was again? Wait a minute, we have 22,000 in Italy. In New York alone, we have, we have about half of that, okay? Uh, let's see here. Then you go to France, uh, 1,700 and uh, almost uh, 18,000 deaths there with 147,091 cases. Um, and look, look at China. It's, it's really kind of, you know, leveled off. And that's where they say the whole thing may have started. There are some people who think that it actually started in Europe. But uh, now the latest reports are they think it started in Wuhan, like everybody says, but in a biological lab there. Not that they were trying to look for a biological weapon, but it was some kind of thing that went wrong. But uh, it, all, all these things, there's so much. We're at the point now where there is just tons of speculation about who did what, when, and so on and so forth. And uh, here are a few things we're finding out about the disease. I think in, uh, in uh, uh, South Korea, which now is, gee, South Korea isn't even, look, it's all the way down here. Can you see maybe where, where I'm, I can't, well, here, let me double click on it. And then let me bring it up. Uh, oh, no, that, that isn't what we wanted. Damn it. Okay, go back to the other thing here. Wait a minute. I wanted South Korea. Okay, well. Uh, let me bring this back. South Korea. Okay, only 229 deaths in, uh, in South Korea. Come on, come on. I'm trying to bring up South Korea, and it's having trouble here. There we go. 10,613 confirmed with 229 deaths. Uh, but what they found out, what's interesting, uh, I can get out of this map. I don't think there's anything more that we have to, uh, we have to look at. It's not, uh, it's not important for us to... Uh, to look at the map any longer. There we go. Goodbye, map. See you later, map. Uh, we'll, we'll bring it up every night just so you can see how things are going or not going or whatever. Uh, but it's uh, it's pretty pretty. You know, it, we're, we're 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 in pretty bad shape here in the United States. You know, um, we keep having these arguments about what. Uh, what should be, you know, how we can uh, get open again, right? Uh, and the fact is that uh, there is no way we can get open again. Why does it say I have a CT scan tomorrow? I don't have a CT scan tomorrow. Let me, hold on a second. Let me look at my calendar a second. What is this? No. Oh, CT scan, 10.30 a.m. No, I don't have a CT scan. That uh, that's that's wrong. I guess we. I I don't know why I put that there. Anyway, because we're not doing a CT scan until uh, uh, until um, this whole thing starts leveling off a little bit. But anyway, uh, the the whole thing with uh, when we're going to reopen the country, and I, I get a little upset by it. Because the thing is, oh, we've got to get business going again. We've got to get the economy going again. Well, you know, if you've got people dying left and right, it's pretty hard to get an economy going, okay? And, and even if you make the mistake by trying to rush to it, you may cause more problems and even more damage the economy, uh, damn the economy of the United States. Uh, it will, will, if we have to redo the United States from the ground up, then we'll do it from the ground up. But let's not do it at the expense of the lives of people. I mean, 
is, is capitalism so important that people should die for it? And I don't think they should. And if capitalism isn't a strong system, then so be it. Then it has to fail on its own reasons to fail. Okay, so um, uh, you know if 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 in fact it's going to disappear, then uh, uh, so be it. If it's that fragile, it doesn't deserve to exist, okay? But when we put a human life over and above the economy, that's, I mean, excuse me, I'm constantly looking over at stuff because I, I, I do everything here. I, I, I play the music, I, I get the people on, I do all of that, and so sometimes I have to look at something and work on it because you got to see me doing it. Anyway, the point is that, you know, how much is a human life worth? Is it worth the economy? You know, and, and this desire, this rush uh, to get this thing done. Now, the president was rushing, and then everybody said, you better put the brakes on this, pal. Uh, so now, rather than say, I'm the president, and I can force you to go back to work. Uh, he was probably told by somebody he didn't have the power to do that, okay? So today he was, he was a little bit on his better behavior, kind of turned it over to other people to talk about, and they're talking about how we're going to bring America back, but I'm leaving it up to the governors. Now, I agree, okay, that there are some states that really they go coronavirus, and eh, we had a couple of cases over in... Uh, in uh, bumfuck uh, uh, city, uh, and uh, they're, they're dead now, but so what? It doesn't really affect us. And, and that's, that's a good assumption to make because the facts are with you. The bad thing to say is that it can't happen to you. You know, just because, you know, like, I, you know where I want to live? I want to live in Montana, and then I can go up into the mountains, and I can have a house up there, and I can probably have all my gadgets and do my show from there and so on, and I probably never even come within 40 miles of anybody that might have the coronavirus, all right? But I'd be living in bumfuck to begin with. Not bad. I mean, Montana's a wonderful place and all of that. But of course, places like that are, are going to be able to get back to normal a lot faster than New York City. But my question is, when it comes to the economy of the United States, who gives more to the economy of the United States? Butte, Montana? Or New York, New York? Okay. If we go down... The economy is going to go down. If Montana suddenly was disappeared in a in a in a hail of of uh, stuff, okay, and just disappeared off the face of the planet, it probably would hardly affect the uh, uh, economy of the United States. So really. Um, but the assumption that, that because we don't have it here, we can get back to work. Well, of course you can get back to work. You can run the gas station and the supermarket and uh, uh, some, uh, herd some cattle or whatever they do up in Montana. And life will go on and you probably will not be endangering much of anybody. Maybe. We don't know that. Because we don't know how much of that is going to is going to suddenly uh, come down on you like a plague. Uh, you haven't gotten it yet because you're the outliers. We got it first because we're sitting here in New York, and the whole world comes through the airports and through the ships and everything else from all over the world. That includes China, that includes all of Europe, so that when we had people coming here with the virus, we were set to get it. Plus, we're shoulder to shoulder here. This, is a, this city alone, New York City, has, what, 9 million people, close to 9 million, maybe 8 million? 
The state of New York has 18 million people, okay? That's a lot of goddamn people, all right? And we're shoulder to shoulder, and we're, gonna, we're going to catch it. And so staying inside for us and, and us not saying, hey, you know, a uh, week from Sunday, we're going to start opening up all the restaurants is because, quite frankly, if we did that, the work that we've done to get the intubation rate down, to get the amount of people going to the hospital that's gone down, stay down, and to get those deaths to start to keep going down. The only way we're going to do that is by staying indoors. You know, that's it. Staying indoors. And we don't go outside now because that could be a death sentence. You got to be very careful when you go out there. I got the gloves on, and I listen. I went down to get the mail today, and I put on the gloves and the mask and the whole thing. And then when I came up with my one piece of mail and a box, uh, we hosed off the box with disinfectant. Okay, that was start for starters. And then I had to take wash the gloves off. Okay with soap and water, and remove the gloves and wash my hands with soap and water. What else did I have to do? Anything else? Uh, but, uh, you know, and then just not touch my face for a while. Um, you know, this is, this, is, this is the new normal for us, and it's going to be that way. I would say we're going to be this way till at least August, September, and even at that point, I don't think... We're going to want to go into restaurants. We're going to want to go into movie theaters. We're going to want to go to a baseball game because we know how close we came to death the way we were and that that might just start the spread of it again. And what they found in South Korea, this was the thing I forgot to tell you a few minutes ago, what they found in South Korea are about 129 people who had the COVID virus, resolved it, got well, and then got it again. So we don't even know that much about this. We're only making assumptions of this virus based on other viruses, and then all of a sudden we find out something about it that we didn't know before, and it just gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. So I don't want to, you know, I, I really don't want to give you guys a bad time and I don't want to tell you that, uh, uh, hey, uh, you know, um, uh, this, is a, this, is a, uh, this is a good thing. It's a horrible thing. It's a terrible thing. And, I, and, and for us here in New York, it is perhaps the scariest thing that's ever happened to us. And we will probably, there won't be anyone from this period of time in New York City who hasn't been changed irrevocably buy it. Now, at my age, hey, what I got? Maybe 10 more years and then I'm dead? If I'm lucky. If I'm lucky, I got 10 more years. You know, I might have five, might have two, might have a week and a half. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm 80 years old. So uh, I, I only have to, but the rest of my life is going to be changed. I might not find myself leaving the house much for the rest of my life. I don't know. Now, we played this last night, and I feel i got to play it again because, well, it's just the best way of getting the message across to everybody, and I don't care where you are or how unim unimpacted your particular community is. Tomorrow, this is, a, this is a pandemic. It's an epidemic. And a pandemic doesn't necessarily find a place to relax because once we get it solved here... It's moving to the next place and the next place until it finally wears out. But it might come to your community. So in the immortal words of Samuel L. Jackson, Stay the fuck at home. The Rona is spreading. This shit is no joke. It's no time to work or roam. The way you can fight it is simple, my friends. Just stay the fuck at home. Now, technically, I'm not a doctor, but motherfuckers listen when I read a poem. So here I am, Sam fucking Jackson, 
imploring you, keep your ass at home. If you want things to get back to normal, don't panic. Just use your dome. Wash your hands, stop touching your face, and stay the fuck at home. Motherfucker, it's no time to gamble. Look around. You're not at a casino. Just stay the fuck home as if your name was Trenton Quarantino. Sure, you can still see your friends. Use the motherfucking app on your phone. But unless you just ran out of groceries, please stay the fuck at home. Thank you for doing your part to flatten the curve. Because that shit is steep. And now that you're home, please feel free to go the fuck to sleep. The end. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. I played that last night, and I, I'm playing it again because I think it's, it's wonderful, and it makes its point. And, of course, we all love Samuel L. Jackson, right? Who doesn't like... I don't know anybody that doesn't like Samuel, Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we're going out tonight. We're, we're, once again, we've been, uh, you know, been doing this for the last couple of nights in a higher definition. Uh, so I hope it looks even better. It doesn't make me look any better. I look, you know, I can't, I can't do, you know, I was supposed to get my eyes done. I was supposed to get a, 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 a I was supposed to get not, not, not a facelift, but my eyes have the, they droop a little bit here and they need to be tightened up. And, um, so my doctor told me, my eye doctor told me I should have that done. And so I was planning on having it done and then this all hit and now I'm not doing it. And I was going to have the bags removed too. So, you know, it'll, you know, what, for what few years I have left, I may as well leave a good, leave a good looking corpse. Okay. <laughs> All righty, well, let's open up the uh, lines here and talk to the folks out there. Um, just opened up the lines, so now we just have to wait for people to start calling. And um, when they do that, then I, like, uh, like a jackrabbit, uh, try to get them all uh, in the... Uh, here we go, here comes Charlie Wallace. He was here last night at the same place place i believe yeah so we can uh we can do that yeah there we go wait a minute uh, uh, just turn on your camera charlie and we can see you charlie are you there i'm yeah. here it there we go on. there we go there he's on and let me see here and there's brian neary is coming and he was in the second place um I don't know why. Oh, there we go. There's Charlie. And here comes Brian. You can turn on your camera, Brian, and we'll see you in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, yeah, there we go. And uh, that's terrific. Now Rob Alfano is calling. Let's see. Was he here last night? Yeah. So he, maybe he will pop up in one of these, uh, one of these places here. Maybe not. Oh, well, okay. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, take Rob, and I will put him. Uh, oh, hold on, folks. Yeah, hold on, Bree. Hold on, Bree. Everybody's calling at once, and it it drives me. Uh, uh, here we go. There's there. Oh, no, that's uh, that's all wrong. I don't want that. I want. Hold on a second. Oh boy. Uh, for, uh, let me see here. I don't want scuba diver. I want Rob. There we go. It's got to be Rob. Okay. Rob, mm -hmm. are you there, Rob? I am here. You are there. But we don't have a picture on you. Huh. Oh, wait a minute. There you are. Uh, who did I? Let's see here. Who do we? <laughs> and then, uh, let's see here. Then we got to go here. And we got to put in... Uh, uh, Charlie Wallace is there, and we got to put in, um, there we go, there is Jeff Zeller, all right, okay, now let me put those there, all right, wait a minute, okay, and, oh. it, hey everybody, how are you this evening? Say hi. Oh, hi. Hey. hey. <laughs> What's your name? 
Adrian. I have a very close friend I'm named Rocky. Adrian. She was in Rock. Uh, yeah, hey, yo, Adrian. <laughs> yo. <laughs> I, I have one uh, da- dad duty to do, so I got to peel her orange. You got to. Uh, wait, uh, but that's a, what a cheap son of a bitch you are. That's the smallest orange I've ever seen. Of course. But they're tasty. Is that what it's yeah. is that what it's come to in the land of coronavirus? It's a cute. Yeah. Now, now everybody uh, in the, on the panel is seeing me a different way tonight. Yeah, you got your green screen going. I don't have a green screen. Oh, is this strictly uh, uh, this the is, software? This no, this is for Skype only. This yeah. is not going out like this. So what they're seeing, what they're seeing. Uh, is uh, uh, me with the uh, Alex the Ramble in back of me uh, yeah. because I found out now that at least on the newer versions of um, of uh, Skype, yeah. you oh. can put a a background on yourself. So, wow. So here I am, see? Yeah, the, uh, MS Teams well, is doing that now too. Uh, you got to light yourself from the uh, front just a little bit more because... I don't you, have to do anything. This isn't going out over the air. I, uh, I'm starting to I see some of the background behind it. I know, just, Phil, because this is not a true green screen. All right. You know, if you were to do it yourself and with your uh, uh, Skype, uh, it would look just as crappy. That's strange. <laughs> can anyone hear me? Hello, yeah. hello. Yeah. We can hear you, but you were humming. Oh. At least some something we know. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> I have this uh, new microphone, and I just, well, it's actually an old microphone. I want to make sure it works. Yeah. Is it better than the iPad mic? No. No. No, oh, it's, uh, it's. This is called an iRig. Uh, you, got, uh, you got raped on the rig. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Rigging it up. It's not working for you. Here we go. Here comes Tony Magno. Let me see here. I got to get Tony in here. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Let me see here. Uh, I put him in the sixth place. And we go uh, Webhead. There we go. And boom. There he is. There's Tony as well. Hi, Tony. How you doing? How are you? Yeah. I got bad news. What? What, what bad news? I tested positive. What? What? Yeah. The positive. I'm joking. They didn't oh. get. Yeah. They never take me alive. Don't worry about it. Holy <laughs> shit! Man, I, man, I, gave me a heart attack. I asked a Buddy to call tonight. Yeah. Uh, he went to New Jersey from Scarsdale mm-hmm. to the antibody test because he wanted to know if he had it and he wanted to uh, and maybe was you know asymptomatic and yeah. to donate blood. So he drove, I don't know, a couple hours to Jersey where they had the uh, drive antibody thing, and they gave him the papers. There was two different tests that they conduct, and uh, he didn't have the antibodies. So, uh, so he uh, didn't get it then. Yeah, he couldn't donate the, the blood. It says that he could get it, and it recommended social distancing. But, it it uh, recommended social distancing? Okay. <laughs> yeah, because he didn't. Oh, I, I know that picture. <laughs> you do? That's Vermont. Yeah. Uh, boy, you follow my pictures, huh? Here's oh, a, here's you sent a, it to me. Here's another Vermont for you. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, let me see here. What else? Uh, uh, here. Uh, there we go. That's kind of nice. I, I'm, I'm doing all these different things. There, it, it's kind of, it's not, it's not, a, it's not perfect. It's not terrific. Okay. So I will go back to my old picture, but I thought you would have fun seeing that. Okay. Yes. I'm debating whether to send my neighbors to jail or not. Hmm? Oh, I'm still going crazy. Over Are you here. a rat? Don't tell me you're a rat, you know. Well, Brian? They're breaking the, they break the uh, lockdown rules, and I've got photos. Brian? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the neighbor with the loud dog. Brian? Can you hear? Yeah, i got to restart. Oh, I'm okay. You guys uh, disappeared from me. Yeah, okay. just to turn on the camera. Click on the camera button. I think it should be okay. Let me see here. Well, we'll see. Because yeah. I always hate, I, the reason I always hate it when somebody hasn't got the camera on is because then I get this 
S from the Skype logo, and I don't like giving them any free publicity. They get one in every corner of every picture anyway, <laughs> you know. So uh, Now there, there are new video conferencing uh, companies coming out of the woodwork every, every two days. The new one is called Jitsu and Jitsi, and it's just like Zoom, but it's open source and free. Yeah, okay, yeah. And, and how is Jitsi different than anything else? Well, I don't know. It's, it's open source and it's like Zoom. And, and no, you don't need to download anything like, you know, like Zoom. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, there's another one called Online Town yeah. where you can go on. So, yeah, there's all kinds. Well, all kinds. I don't know. I tried, uh, I tried Zoom tonight, tested it out, and uh, I don't see that there's anything great about it. You know, I mean, I, uh, I people say, oh, the picture's so clean and clear and nice, you know, and I'm going, what's wrong with the picture here? Nobody looks terrible. Well, it, de it depends on what you want to use it for. But like this, this uh, format for Skype would not work for me in my daily work. Why? I need to be able to, I need to be able to see more people and I need to be able to control how we interact. And I need to be able to share screens, and I need to be able to. Uh, there's a whole lot of different things. Um, I need to be able to secure it. Uh, yeah, I mean, I could go down the list. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you can say that, but you know, I just, I just found that it was, uh, it was, it was, it was, you know, it was easy enough, I guess. But I mean, I couldn't have people just calling me. And picking up their call, you know, so. Uh, yeah, it has calling, too. No, I know it has calling, but I'm saying, like, you called me, okay? I, I, don't, I don't see where that is included in Zoom. I have to invite them. Yeah. You have to give them a link. I have to give them a link. There's a, there's a personal ID that you get. Uh, so like your your personal yeah, meeting room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you can call that. They they now have uh yeah, they have a lot more functionality on Zoom. It's really changed in the last week. In the last week? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. They they've added all these contacts and is uh, it, by the way, is Brian still there? You're not there, Brian. Uh, I think he had a reboot. Oh, okay. Oh, right, yeah. well, I had to do that too. I lost audio. Yeah. Um I I don't um, let me see here. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta do something so we can get uh, so we can get Kevin in there as well. And uh, let me see. I have uh, hey. is anybody uh. is anybody doubled over? No, everybody's there once. Oh, good. Oh, thank goodness for that. Um, yeah, Here's I something that that I wanted to ask a question. Mm -hmm. uh, did have any wealthy people died from COVID-19. No, they're all on yachts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I know some celebrities, uh, or, you know, tangentially, well, we, uh, you know, see. names, but I, you know, it's kind of interesting. Um, you know, Boris Johnson has recovered and uh, there, you know, there Prince Charles a, is okay. There was a bunch of celebrities. Uh, yeah. I, the biggest ones in the world, but celebrities that you see had passed away uh, from some singers. Yeah, yeah, some but, singers. But yeah. Celebrity might country might singer. What's his name? Uh, I'm trying to remember his name now. Who I yeah, John I Prine died and, and who? John Prine is a country yeah. songwriter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is he rich? Richard uh, and me. Uh, <laughs> he, he, hey, did you lose out on the Phil? Did you lose out on the 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 thing the you know the the because yes, no. they they ran out of money. Uh, I got eight thousand bucks today, uh, a grant uh, from the SBA. Uh, they, they give you a thousand for each employee, just emergency funds. And mm -hmm. then uh, on the PPP, my application is in. But now that they're out of money, uh, they're still working on processing the applications. And as soon as Pelosi. Mm -hmm. Uh, frees mm -hmm. up the um, 
uh, the next $250 billion, I'm sure I'll be funded. Mm -hmm. Do you know who got that money, however? Yes, I, I oh, know yeah. people that got it, but they're bank. No, uh, no, no, no it's, uh, not, it's not that you, you should know people who got it. Do you know who got it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Ruth's Chris got $20 million, uh, two $10 million things. There was uh, uh, another uh, company, I, can, uh, uh, I think a, a restaurant, uh, that got $10 million. Mm -hmm. uh, Try uh, hedge funds and uh, what was it? What was the other thing? Hedge funds and um, uh, some kind of money things like that. It, maybe Bernie Madoff got some in prison. Yeah, but oh. uh, hedge funds got Sorry. some. Yeah, yeah, they were out ahead of you. How do you feel about I thought that? It was Bill? small business. It was supposed to be for less than 500 employees. Right. Oh, so these yeah. little hedge so, funds, even though they're wealthy. Right. They had less than 500 employees. Yeah. Supposedly, <coughs> the reason they ran out of money early was hedge funds and com uh, what was the other one? That's uh, bullshit. Uh, one other, other kind of investment thing. That's uh, bullshit. Yeah, of course it's, it's bullshit. Really That's business. why Phil didn't get his $52,000. He should be pissed off about that. He was, he was probably why eight. were Democrats <laughs> holding it up, trying to get rid of that shit. Uh, uh, no, they were trying to get money for the people that were more impacted, illegals and uh, people that... No, uh, they didn't say could, illegals. Could uh, illegals, uh, well, if illegals pay taxes, then I suppose they were uh, going to get it. But if they didn't pay taxes, there was no way they were going to get it. Well, a lot of them pay taxes, but they're using your wasn't, social security. It wasn't for illegals, <laughs> Phil. It was that they didn't want, I think it was something like he wanted a half, of, uh, half a trillion dollars in reserve that the president could spend at his discretion and that oh, his administration could right. spend at their discretion. And they didn't want that. They wanted every right. penny to go to people. Uh, Maybe right and check to everybody. We could be getting two thousand. <laughs> Who wants two thousand? Alex, you were saying you were going to hold out for Andrew Yang's two thousand. Looks like we might get it. Yeah, well, One. actually, I'm only going to get about. I'm only going to get about eleven hundred. No, that's the first round. Oh, no, 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 no. This is Marjorie and I are going to get eleven hundred. We should get two thousand, but unfortunately, for some reason, we're over a certain amount, and we can't. Oh, yeah. Well, and I'm not going to get anything. I, Brian's not going to get anything. Yeah. You know, so. And, and, I already got mine. I don't get I, anything I, either. I don't, yeah. yeah I, I'm going to show you my. Well, here's, here's the thing I don't get. You know, I mean, who should be getting this money? It's like everybody gets, you get it, you get a thousand, and you get a thousand, and you get a thousand. Yeah, Brian. You know what I'm yeah, going to say here? Shouldn't it just go to people who are whose income has been impacted by this. It if should. My it wife, Marjorie's working at home. That. She's, She's getting the same stuff. paycheck now that she got every day that she worked oh, at this God. company, and yet she's going to get some money. They well, said why? that the computers were so old that they couldn't differ, uh, right. do that kind of search to dis discern who uh, was at what income level. I'm, I'm surprised. Well, but the other thing is, that. You've got to give it to no. any, everybody for the same reason Andrew Yang said. Yeah. Because you, you've got to get the rich people and the powerful people to, to go ahead with it. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know uh, Brian? Brian had his hand. Way, people we, are getting a lot of money. Let Brian talk. <laughs> I'm not hand. rich. I'm not getting a penny. Oh, yeah, no, I... I was just going to say, yeah, you know, people like, like me, geez, you know, especially our business, you know, I, I don't care if I don't have the money. I mean, I'd like the money, but, but yeah, I definitely think there are other people that really need the money and yes. somehow yes. they should break that down somehow. I, I don't know how to do that, but you can't, I don't need the money. Uh, Marjorie doesn't need the money. I mean, we'll take it if they want to give it to us, but we don't need it. Uh, but there are people who, a couple of weeks ago, had a job, and they don't have a job now. And they got the yeah. rent coming due. And, mm -hmm. and Good luck filing unemployment. And quite frankly, giving them 1200 bucks that isn't enough. No. You know, like you know I mean, I don't foresee a lot of those people in New York going to back to work before the end of the year. I really don't. Not Why don't they just make everybody file for unemployment, and instead of giving them the measly unemployment that you get, give them their salary? And not give that, money to people that, who are that, working. That's, that's what I, I said before. Well, hold on a second, Phil. That's 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 what why? I said. 
So, so I mean, unemployment is not difficult to administer. It's in place. Have, have you that's been seeing the lines? Can't and handle the, the volume. That's what too the, many people. No way. That's what the PPP is for, and that's what I'm working on with that 52K, because if I because you can't you can't work fast <laughs> enough to become a socialist, Phil. Yeah. Well, I was to work for 52,000 <laughs> grand. Yeah. Instead of the grand. So, isn't it amazing that a guy like Phil, who is so thinks socialism is communism, <laughs> the minute socialism benefits he's him, he's in line with his it. hand right out there. Why don't you sit back and listen to what I'm saying? It's a good thing. You see, instead of the states putting people on unemployment and possibly putting people in positions where they're not going to return for their job, mm -hmm. as an employer... This PPP will allow me to continue their salaries for eight weeks from the time I receive it. Uh, and as the economy comes back, they haven't lost a beat. They'll get the same paycheck that they got before the shutdown. And it's the federal government that's paying it, not the state. So the, in, in essence, what PPP is doing, a paycheck uh, program, is it's replacing unemployment. Uh, and, and, it's, and it's taking it off the backs of the state. So the federal government's doing a very good thing by creating PPP. If you think that that's socialism, I think <laughs> it's a loan. Because if I don't do uh, pay that money to, those, to the people, I'm on the hook for that money, and I have to pay it back. Phil, it's, it's socialism. Uh, no, I, it's a loan. Yeah, but you don't have to pay back. No, you do if uh, if you don't uh, if they don't come no, if, back. You no, know, if you pay your people with that right. money, you right. don't have to pay it back. Oh, that's correct. Okay, so that's socialism. That's socialism. <laughs> How do you define it? <laughs> either either that's we socialism. adopt socialistic practices, and we need like a big, you know, uh, New Deal policy like FDR had, oh. or or forget it. This is I mean, really. Are you reading the news? I mean, <laughs> you know, it's so unbelievable that we're going to be at fifty percent unemployment next month. The social I mean, well, let him that. let him say what he's going to say. Wait for him to finish and then talk. Okay. We need to ha we need to think big. We need visionary leadership like FDR. I mean, it's that big. It, it, but people are burying their head in the sand. They they only see around them and they think, well, I'm okay, so everything must be okay. But the system is collapsing. It's failing, yeah. and it's going to be a lot more. And it more doesn't. It doesn't have the right person in power right now to handle this situation. He would have been okay if we had just had a normal kind of administration. Nothing terrible happened. No wars broke out. Nothing like this happened. But this is a major thing in which you need somebody who knows how to lead. And this is a man who, quite frankly, that hasn't been his his bailiwick. His leading. He's only known how to run a business, and he's even did that very badly, but let's not question that. He never was trained to do the job that needs to be done now. Well, the Democrats would like to see— Forget the Democrats on. versus the Republicans, Phil. That's uh, there are people dying over at Mount Sinai a couple of blocks from me that, that, right now. That, wait a minute. That they, they, There's no discrimination between Republican and Democrat. OK, so this is in a Republican I'm about the economy and on the economy. The reason that they are not approving PPP, this extra 250 is because they want the economy uh, to uh, to freeze up. You know, they oh, don't yeah. want. Well, uh, yeah, we yeah, we, we, we want the economy to freeze up so that we, we lose money. They don't want wait restaurants wait to wait be wait open. Oh, they, Phil, Phil, time out, time, time out, time out, time out, Phil, time out. Yeah. Time out. Ke Kevin, you look frustrated. <laughs> we also have AP. You sound like American Patriot. They, you know, the, the, the Democrats want everybody to die. Nobody yep. wants the restaurants to open. That's the right. Democrats want everything to fall apart so that they can fix it all, right? No, they don't want to fix it. They they want social. Oh, no, they want it all to fall apart so, it's that, un, so it's the, the Republicans can government. sit there and say that they did it. No, it's it's is your that what Phil, happened? Phil, Phil, there is nobody. What, there they is, want, the, it, they want the whole there fucking isn't. government to fall apart. They want America to fall apart. It's yeah, horse right. shit. Come on. They do because they want to. Phil, 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 calm down. Time out. Time out. 
I feel, I think, I calm down, too. Todd, Ooh. Phil, Phil. Yeah. Phil, you don't have to comment that. on everything, you know. Well, it's the truth. <clears throat> you know, you, you don't, don't have it. to monopolize Conspiracy. the conversation. It's just bullshit the, cop out. The point, the point is, Phil, that if you think that a Democrat wants to see anybody die, if you think that a Democrat wants to see businesses, uh, especially small businesses, uh, go away because we, as as Democrats, have always supported small business. Um, uh, uh, then, then you're nuts, you know. No, because, and 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 do. if, if I don't he, think he, the the Democrats do, I don't think anybody wants that shit to happen. Same Democratic Party. It's a bunch of far left. Uh, oh, uh, up, over no, you. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Jeff. Same Jeff had something to say. What did you say, Jeff? I, I just said, shut up, Phil. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Yeah, from uh, the guy that Charlie, not, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie's <laughs> waving his hand. Yes, Charlie. It's going to get bad, Phil, when you go to Ruth Chris and they're, serve they're chicken. They're mistaking. If I say if you run across the freeway, you'll get hit by a car, that does not mean that I want you to get hit by a car. What I want is for you not to run across the freeway. Very Thank good. You. I don't run across the freeways. <laughs> <clears throat> no, very good. I mean, you know, nobody. No, if you think that we want to see the look. Uh, nobody, more than myself, when he got elected, wanted to see Trump succeed more than myself because I wanted him to succeed because if he succeeds, the, company, the country succeeds. Right. He didn't succeed. He has not been able to handle a situation like this because this isn't what he does. This isn't what he knows how to do. You talk about Biden, you can say anything nasty you want to say about Biden, but he led the Ebola task force here in America, and if he were in power right now, at least he'd have some idea of how to handle this. Yes, I, Brian. Yeah, so so Biden was on, uh, they have the, the CNN thing, you know, with yeah. Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Yeah, so, so Biden was on there. <clears throat> He had this big plan. He was You could tell he was reading from something. He said he had meetings and he has a bunch of notes, so he's reading off of that. You know, he's trying to save some small businesses if they have people try to split up the work, but then pay them full. You know, so he has sort of some kind of plan. But <clears throat> watching him talk was pretty painful. But the big thing about Biden, I think, is I know he will have the right people around him to help guide him. And I, when Trump was talking at the beginning, it sounds like he doesn't either have the right people around him or he just wants to wing it like he wants to wing it. But Biden needs people around him to guide him to let him know what day it is. I'm, I want a guy. That's fine. That's fine. It's better than. <laughs> At least he listens to somebody say it's Tuesday, yeah. and he'll say, "Okay, it's Tuesday." Phil, when you yeah. want to talk yeah. about, yeah. He'll when so you see Trump will ins insist it's Tuesday, and he'll insist it for eighteen hours, and then he'll back down off. He'll he'll he'll, it's he'll, he'll insist Thursday. it's it, it, well, he'll it's insist really it's Tuesday, Wednesday it's until it's Friday. Yeah, you know. Oh, I'd get <laughs> nervous if you said, "Who am I?" <laughs> then we're in trouble. You have to, you have to admit, Phil. We all sat around here last, you know, February and March, and said, "Okay, well, he's president now. We really want him to succeed, even though he's an asshole. We want him to at least succeed because he's leading the country. And you need to. We may not like him, but he, we wanted him to succeed. But he has sure fucked it up. But you needed to support him, not let him spend it's his no, time. No, it doesn't matter. What we can do He's not going to know that we're he here. Hears us? There's an old saying. There's an old here. saying from Star Wars: "Is who's the bigger fool? The I gotta man, buy a trophy the, bear. The, fo the, the fool who leads a bunch of people, or the fool who follows him." Whether we whether we sit here and support him or not, he doesn't know that. You're right. You know, it, it's 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 the fact that what he does. And if he did, you know, sure, we'd sit here and rah, rah, rah. He still wouldn't hear that either. I, I've got my support now. Uh, Goldwater, he's running. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> Just a little late. <laughs> yeah. he Never know. If he did everything he wanted to do, there'd be 100,000 people already dead. I don't think so, because he shut the thing Look. down right off the bat. He did no, not. he didn't, Phil. Yeah, he did not. You know, no, he did not. Died. Phil, once he said, oh, no more Chinese are allowed in the country, 40,000 came into this country. How's that closing Stop. it down? Stop. 
of ones that Alex did be fair. Uh, he didn't stop. Uh, he didn't stop anything. My, uh, I know the uh, people in my wife's office were going back and forth to China during that time, and we're mm -hmm. saying like, "Where's this ban on China?" <laughs> they had. The, did they have green cards to fake them to work in this country? Hmm. Did they, your wife's... Uh, no, they don't have green cards or anything like that. How, how, do, how can they work in this country if they don't... Because they're doing business here, and they go on to another yeah, country, and they do business cards. there. You know, and a couple of them actually live here and have green cards. Right. You know. Those were allowed to travel back and forth. Yeah. Well, not... But they forth. couldn't have the virus, right? No, they couldn't have the virus. They it were... Down in China, but Europe is where the virus came yeah. from. Yeah, He's right, Rob. They were coming in from Italy out, getting hammered. That it was his recommendation to close down Europe, and uh, at that point... No, uh, Trump he didn't do that. He didn't do that. Britain because of his stupid yeah. golf course. And then... Uh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on Britain. a second. It, Brian's... No, no. no, no I, I, what Charlie was just about to say, why did he keep saying UK was okay? Do you remember that? He said yes. Europe, nobody can fly, but UK is okay to fly. Yes. In. I think because it was an island and it was separate from the continent. Oh, really? People don't so, travel to England from like, the continent? Europe is well, separate from our continent, too. There, in fact, the, the two continents are linked physically by a train now. And a tunnel. And, well, that's yeah. the tunnel in the, the train in the tunnel. Yeah. So, I mean, there, it, no, no, he didn't because he has golf courses there. And business is there. What do you mean I'm assuming? Yeah, he does have golf courses, but he wasn't necessarily. <laughs> you can't say that the reason he didn't close it down was because of a golf game. No, he finally no, closed it, it down he because let people. Go of his businesses, there's no way to assume that he's not thinking that. Yeah. Is, right? so, it, it leaves that shadow of a doubt that he's thinking about uh, his businesses. I mean, the biggest his, mistake his, he his, ever no, made was to well, not let us know what he owes and what he doesn't owe. And what he owns and what he doesn't own, because now we assume he owns everything where he takes advantage of a particular place. You know, remember what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me. Oh, gee, Phil! Wow, yeah. where did you come up with that one? I stole it. Where the odd couple. PhD? What? What, Jeff? I said, where did Phil get his PhD? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Trump University. Trump yes. University. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. All I'm saying is that, that if you think there was bathroom. anybody in this country, no matter how much they didn't like Trump winning, who wanted to see him fail, you're nuts because him failing means that we fail. If we own any stocks, yeah. we fail. If we if we if we are in bad health and he doesn't help us out, we fail. You know, I, I mean that notion. That everybody wanted to see him fail. No, it wasn't that everybody wanted to see him fail. They wanted to see, I wanted to see him succeed. I wanted him to surprise the hell out of me. Okay? Why wouldn't people? Do, I mean, it's our lives. We live here. Yeah. That just makes yeah. no yeah, sense. You know, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, uh, if, you know if, I guess you're the only smart one in the room because uh, you, you didn't want him to fail, and we all wanted him to <clears> fail. <throat> That's I, right. I yeah. Well, you know, you know, you know how stupid you are, Phil, fail. that you think we all okay. wanted him to fail. Is there yeah. anybody in this panel that wanted to see Trump fail? Yeah. Well, I never wanted to see anybody fail. Yeah. Hey, it's not. Except show yeah. a hand. How many called him an orange orangutan and, and so forth? Well, of course, because yeah. he is. <laughs> so what? <laughs> So is that the way that you support a guy that you don't want to fail? No, it's called parody, Phil. Not and by the way, by the Wait. way, by the way, Trump threatened to sue Bill Maher because yes. he intimated that his mother had had sex with an orangutan, <laughs> and that's how he came to be. And he wanted to sue over that rather than laugh at it. That is funny. Like, maybe she did. And he came out and maybe maybe she did. You know, it's kind of morbid. That's, that's why everybody down south who walks around on their knuckles voted for him. You just put those teeth back in. Can I say bigot? No, he's just making fun of them. Nah, he did it against yeah, orangutans. Parody. <laughs> That's bad for the orangutans, really. Yeah. 
Okay, it's how like, many other presidents have been made fun of over the last fifty years? Oh, yeah. come on! Yeah, how, every know, single yeah. one of them. No matter. They have who a they have a they have a yearly um, uh, uh, dinner where they make fun of the president. Except this yeah. last. Except one. this yeah. one because he won't yeah. go to it. I don't because blame him. Can't one, take it. What? He doesn't before. like the press. Yeah, the one before that. He doesn't right? have a before sense of that, humor. Obama was there. Yeah. When Obama was doing it, and he was blasting on Trump, and they kept showing him. If you look on YouTube, yeah, and that, yeah. Trump did not well, like that. If I, I had, like if I were like, uh, if I were uh, like McFly in uh, Back to the Future, oh, and I could go Back to the Future, oh, I'd love to do that. Uh, I would immediately find Barack Obama and whisper in his ear. You're going to become president someday, and when you are, you're going to be asked to go to a uh, correspondence dinner. And when you do, do not put Donald Trump down. It's a dangerous oh. thing to do. Because yeah, that might alternate the whole thing. That, yeah, that, that, that would telling you these governors are. That could be the winner. Yeah. That what were you saying, Rob? Rob? Yeah, these governors today. Okay. Rob, Rob, Rob. Yes, Rob. The governors today. I know they figured out how to play him, and they suck his dick. And they tell him, thank you for everything you've done for the states. And that makes him smile. And that gets him to just allow them to, to, to you know, without having to fight with them about yeah. coming back and doing what the governors need to do. It's just a, as simple as just telling him, you know what, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for the, 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 the support. And thank you for everything you've done. And he sits there. He gets his pat on the back and everything is good. And that's yeah. exactly what Governor oh. Newsom is doing right that's now. That's absolutely yeah. what they're all doing, except maybe a couple well, of the they're, Reds. They're all, yep. a, they're all afraid of the bully right. because right now, right now they need cooperation from the government to solve this problem in their individual <laughs> states, and so they don't want to start a bitch fight with him. This is a bad time. The only, and you fight. can get anything you want out of Trump if you just kiss his ass. You know, yeah, if you get like, if he comes like, to Omaha, make sure that marching band is out there with a right. big banner saying "We that's love Donald right. Trump," it's, and you'll get anything you want. That's it's what a corporation. Have. You kiss the boss's ass, you'll get a raise, right? Yeah, right. the federal government is supposed to do. They're supposed to support the states, that's and that's correct. what Trump is doing. Yeah, and he's done a great job. And your buddy, yeah, so, yeah. your buddy Best Cuomo, he just supports some states. Let me my buddy others. Cuomo. Every problem that needs the help of the federal government has been given that help. So then how come the the, uh, the governor of Illinois has said, I've given up listening to what the federal government says they're going to do for me because they do nothing? How come? Uh, I do know that uh, they gave enough respirators to New York that now they can give them to Delaware and New Jersey uh, so uh, or Louisiana. So, the, you know, what's happened is Trump and the administration has given everyone no, what they Phil, need. No, Phil. Phil, I, I have to correct you. I have to correct. I have to correct you, Phil. Your 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 your, your, your timeline's a little wrong on that. The reason why we have the respirators to give away is because we had a governor who was so capable of rallying the troops. Now listen to me, Phil. To rally the troops and to get them to stay indoors and to. Uh, uh, not uh, breathe in each other's faces and made them realize that they had to do this in order to save their own lives and the lives of their neighbors. And he so brought New York together that we wound up not needing those respirators. Yeah, because they all died. Well, Phil, that they had the Phil, you're not, uh, you know, you've got to always come up with some snappy little snarky answer. And the fact of the matter is, I'm telling you the truth. Every That's day, wait a minute, every day, at uh, about, oh, I think it's usually 1130, uh, he goes on, Cuomo, and he gives us all the statistics for the day, you know, and we're hoping and praying things are going to get better. And today we got a good report. There were about 120 less people dead today when we died the day before. And uh, the amount of intubations has gone down and so on. And then he right. looks straight at that camera and says, and that's because of you. That's because you're doing what needs to be done. And he gives us a pep talk every more day. Doesn't, doesn't lift us up and make us believe this is over tomorrow, but he, he makes us feel that we're all in this fight together, and he rallies the troops, and he does what a leader is supposed to do. And the reason why we don't need those uh, uh, breathing apparatuses uh, is because we 
all listened to him and because he rallied us together and we don't need him because we've flattened the curve. Okay? And, and so give him a little bit of credit because Cuomo is pretty damn good. Well, Cuomo was following models that uh, re, that he said that he was going to have so many deaths and he needed so many respirators. The, the, and no, said, Phil, oh, Phil, that was those. Now, Brian, government. Brian, you know a little bit about this. Those were the only models he had, right? Yeah, I, I think the big thing about Cuomo, <clears throat> even I'm in California and I, I watch Cuomo <laughs> uh, when he talks to the state. Um, but when you do a lot of stats and stuff like that, he talks about he's looking at the three day average and stuff like that because the day to day can go up and down. I mean, all those little things that he talks about, he has people there that are very smart and he reflects the smart smartness. Yeah. That's he said he said the other day, he said, When I started this whole thing, I didn't know what I was what 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 I didn't know one thing from another. He said, and yeah. it's amazing how much I've had to learn in how little amount of time. Um and when it's something that's a medical question, he doesn't answer it. He turns it over to his medical exactly. guy. And if it's an economic oh. question, he turns it over to the economic person. And but uh, all I'm heart. saying, all I'm saying is, by doing this every day, he has kept us with yeah. a single purpose. And when you go out on the streets of New York right now, it's pretty empty out there. And when there are people out there, they've got masks on their face, and most of them have rubber gloves too, because yeah. we're all doing our part to lower that curve, to flatten yeah, it out and to lower that curve. And Phil, if you don't believe that that uh, uh, Cuomo isn't doing what a leader should do, then you don't know what a leader should do. And you, it, explains, it explains fully why you, you, you're a Trump fan. Yes, By the I way, Jeff Trump. has his hand up. Yeah. So, as far as the governor of New York, the one thing that he does is he is willing to say, I don't know. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I'm willing to listen to what he has to say because he's going to tell you what he knows and he's going to tell you what he doesn't And he know. also tells you, these are the facts, now my opinion. Yep. Yeah. He doesn't okay. meld it all together and say <laughs> he's seen great things. Yeah. And nobody's by the way, by the way, Phil, just for what he's ever done before. Just for your edification. Like nobody's ever done it. Just for your edification. He goes on every day and they put him on CNN and they put him on MSNBC. I don't know if they put him on Fox. They do. Um, uh, OK. Wow. And that compared to the Trump press conferences, his it, it, because Trump is so loves to talk about his ratings. Uh, the ratings for 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 Cuomo are way out front. Of anything Trump for Trump. Thanks. Trump does a lot of thanking. You know, himself? have you ever go, No, not himself. Oh. He, he thanks the wait, doctors. Wait. He's thanked uh, you know, all the people that are working with him. Uh, and he then defers to uh, when he's asked questions of the press. Now, the thing about Cuomo, is he being asked questions by the press or is he just yes. Being yes. A, a, yes. a talking head? No, it's, it's, a, it's the press. Well, uh, you know, Trump stays there for a long time. Yes, talking. two and a half fucking hours. Yeah, I've never heard him refer something to one of the other doctors there. Oh, he refers, he yes, he refers he all the time. He, he, he does. does. He does. He argues. No, he doesn't. No, he'll yes, say, he, you know, you want to handle this. He, he does. Yeah, he, uh -huh. he argues with the press. They try to use uh, gotcha questions. But he does defer to the... <sighs> The different doctors and the, and the different uh, people in the administration, uh, you know, uh, when uh, when those questions come up and he does a lot of thanking. It, it sounds to me like a, a benefit where uh, they're raising money, like for muscular dystrophy or something. Mm -hmm. I want to thank this guy and thank that yes, guy. Bree. It's like a like a lounge jacket. If you look, at, um, like Papa John's. <laughs> if you look at my individual <laughs> actions, it's easy to sort of, uh, you know, say this is good this is bad or you know did this did that and and that's that's where you can do that i mean because uh you know no one is 100 percent perfect or 100 percent bad so it's a matter of degrees for me if, if you look overall at the numbers in my opinion the united states failed to uh handle this epidemic appropriately and you know, one of our presidents used to have a on his desk. It said, "The buck stops here." Roman. And so, you know, at 
that that, that for me is telling. I, I don't want to hear the daily things. I don't want to compare to Cuomo. I don't care if he, you know, said thank you to people or to, all I'm looking at is the reality of the numbers. Yeah. And if you look at that and you look at other countries, you know, we're not even close to any objective, uh, you know, view on how this has been handled. We're nowhere in the in the top leadership on this. So then you have to say, well, what is it? Why? Why? Why are these numbers as they are? And, and you can look at per capita as well. So you can't just say, well, you know, we uh, we have more people. So, you know, but we also are supposed to be a wealthy nation with great health care. And yet, why is it that we are disproportionately affected? I don't and know. You got 53 people watching. For what? me, it comes down to leadership. What, Phil? 53 people I watching. I only see 51. Well, it just went down. There was 53. Hmm. Yeah, so. Is that the highest? I don't know. I don't remember. Uh, yes, Charlie. Up. Charlie. Well, I tried to signal them to let them know, but thank you. The uh, one of the telling things about Trump is that he has this commission he's setting up to, to to try and decide when's the best time to go back to work and restart the economy. And there's not one medical professional on that commission. Not one. He doesn't care what the doctors think. He has all these businessmen going to decide when to open up the economy. Yeah, but like this, they're a, all going to die. There's a pork plant. I think they're thinking of reopening tomorrow. Of uh, <laughs> the sky is falling. Yeah, it kind of is, Phil. <laughs> Phil, I'm, la the is. last time you 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 uh, one of the times you accused me of saying the sky is falling is when I said this pandemic is going to get really dangerous, and I think you your your exact words were that. So you know. Uh, uh, stop with that already. Okay, Brian, how many more people have died during this pandemic than uh, from some of the other flus and not the Spanish one? Oh, a great deal no more. Idea. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, There's this been nothing that's had 2,000 people Oh, oh, oh you're going to compare? Wait a minute, like wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't care how bad the epidemic was. Nobody, no <laughs> disease you've ever had had 2,000 people dying every day. You're going to compare this to the you Spanish flu, Phil? I didn't compare it to, I said not the Spanish flu, like Mars and SARS. and They you know, weren't uh, anywhere uh, near this. Uh, and, and just the normal influenza. How, how, wait, wait, wait a minute, Brian, how bad was SARS compared to this? Yeah, it, wasn't the, it, it was bad, but not, not even close to this bad. But, yeah. but, but Phil, but Phil the, the big thing with the regular flu is we have that under control. You know, we have so many tests. All these companies have good tests for that. And, you know, people have their shots and everything. But I think the biggest scary thing is that we didn't have a test at one time. And now we have tests, but not enough. But then the vaccine, the vaccine's really big. I think. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, what uh, now Tony had written something to me about this. Uh, re re yeah, they have. It's breaking out right now. They're saying that uh, I, don't, I can't pronounce it. Remildar. There's a certain it's drug that they Desivir, I think, is the name of early, early results. That's why the stock market is going crazy after hours. It's it's they're saying an early an early test. It's working. In September, the one, uh, they expect to see the first Georgia, dose. I think it is envoy. Uh, I wrote it down. I was reading an article, and if you do a Google search on Yahoo, just do a Google search. It's I think it's through. envoy down in Georgia or something. They're hmm. saying if there were people with severe cases of of the respiratory where it's in the lungs already, they're seeing results of it in early trials, but they're saying it's working. The market's going crazy after hours right now pretty much because of this drug. They're thinking, it, I mean, it's wishful thinking, but it seems like it might be something. I mean, it's it's a spark of good news. Somebody they're had probably, a, it's, it, it, Yeah, uh, maybe you're talking about this remdesivir. Uh, rem, yeah, rem, that's rem, remdesivir. Yes. remdesivir. Yeah. Do you know this uh, heard, drug uh, at all, um, uh, Brian? No. Uh, what was it used for? That I, it was used Ebola. for something. Else. Ebola, and it didn't work. Oh the, well, I guess uh, they're getting results three, on this. They're, they're working on a on a vaccine at uh, Oxford, and they, I heard an interview with the guy tonight who said that they're eighty percent confident that this is going to work, and they expect the first uh, trials to be in September. They've already tested it on animals. It's very closely linked to what they were using with mm, Ebola. Yeah. And so they're um, extremely comfortable with it. And they had this doctor on from uh, Oxford talking about it tonight. And yeah. 
They said eighty yeah, percent chance. Uh, yeah, it's, it's and it's all reputable sources. What I was reading from that the mark the, the stock on that company is going crazy right now after hours. I heard about it the other day from mm -hmm. my mother's doctor. He mentioned it, and then I just Googled it. So let me see it, and, and a lot of stories came up in the after. It was like, oh wow, maybe they're getting some good. It's not a vaccine, but if they can treat it, this is yeah. this is this could be the ace you're looking for. By the way, uh, uh, by the way, here. Tony, turn Hang your on, camera it, on and off, will you? Okay, because uh, I, Bree's trying to yes, raise his Yes, hand. Bree. I, I'm trying to see Bree. Um, right. the, the reality is, is that, you know, if you listen to the, the professional healthcare folks, they're always saying therapeutics, you know, first and treatments and, or, and then later vaccines. But in order for those to go, they have to go through trials. Well, you know, I thought when I read that Gilead thing about Red Menace Bar or whatever, I thought, well, Back uh, two months ago in Thailand, they were using that. They already said that they were using it and that they saw some benefits. Um, so why all of a sudden Gilead gets a stock increase and they say they've declared it this? I'm not sure why. It's, I think it's just how they release their the press releases. But well, even if we get a vaccine tomorrow, <clears throat> we can't distribute it. It can't be distributed. It, it would take a year just to distribute if we had it tomorrow. But we're not going to have it tomorrow. It's it. I mean, well, let's face most, it, though. Let's face it. The, the, the only thing that's going to really get us out of all of this is when a vaccine does come and we can put this behind us. OK, in the meantime, uh, all these cures are about the only thing we can look to, which at least will somewhat mitigate the situation and get us back to some kind of normalcy. I don't think I don't think even when we have a. Uh, a vaccine, we're going to go back to normal. I think we suddenly have realized our mortality and what can cause us to get really sick, and we're going to we're going to fight that. Um, uh, I, what, Phil? I passed a, a theater today. You know, those comfy seats theaters, mm -hmm. and they had the gate up across the thing. And I'm saying to myself, Am I ever going to go back to a movie theater? No, and you know, am, am I going to go and have uh, you know uh, go to the uh, Ruth's Chris and sit at the bar and have happy hour? I, you know, I don't think He's so. He's already back on the stage. You well, know? I'll tell you something. You um, uh, I um, I saw an article the other day on in a show business um, uh, site about uh, the movie companies and the fact that they found a different form of distribution for the stuff that they were supposed to unload this time of year. And that is they're putting them on Amazon and selling them to you for $20 a pop mm -hmm. to watch mm -hmm. the film. Uh, and uh, when they first started this, they didn't know what the results would be. But all of a sudden, they've seen that on some of their films, they're making more money than they ever would have by giving it to the movie theaters. My and God. so, wait a minute, let me finish, Phil. Jeez. Yeah. And so the, the upshot of all of this is that... They are, are starting to say, look, you know, we've maybe found a new model here. And we know that people aren't going to go back to the movie theaters. And we've got to start distributing these online, you know. And that's probably where the movies are going to be. Yes, like uh, that, Brian. A couple of months ago, yeah. my daughter got hired by Amazon Studios. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it was kind of a stroke of luck because she was work, working for Variety before that. And, uh, and then they hired her. Uh, she's on, uh, she's not on, she works to, uh, support the, uh, uh, what's the show that Kevin, uh, not, uh, what's his name is on, uh, uh, marvelous May Mrs. Maisel. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's, uh, she's doing promotion, but what does uh, that have to do with what we're talking about? It's Amazon studios is, uh, you know, it, it's, it's really, but the, we're talking, the, I'm not talking about Amazon studios. I'm talking about universal. I'm talking about Warner brothers. I'm talking about the major motion picture studios mm -hmm. that don't include the Netflix and the Hulus and, <clears throat> and so on, that they're all thinking of making this form of distribution, mm -hmm. the newest form of distribution. They've been wanting to do it for years, but the, but the movie theaters have balked at it, but now they've got no excuse. Yeah. You know who makes all the money at the movie theaters? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, concession stands. Yeah. Um, well, a friend it, of mine, at, yeah. a friend of mine at work, her husband worked at a, one of the concession companies, whatever, in South San Francisco, and they make bank. I well, used to work for yeah. Screen Vision in mm -hmm. New York City, and there you may recognize their names because they they were the pre shows that aired on, in a lot of movie theaters. All the trivia questions, Screen Vision, wow. this and that, and they 
I mean, I was in the, that industry, and they make no money for the first run of a movie. 90% of the money goes to the, the film companies. They get, you know, pennies until later that, you know, that the film's been around. So that's why the concessions cost so much. Well, the reason, the reason, the thing is that, um, if I remember correctly, with the movie companies, when they give a theater a movie, the first week they take 100% of the take. Second mm. week it goes to something like 90%. And then for every mm. week more that it's there in a theater, the theater starts getting more and more of the money. So where they're going to make their major amount of buck is on the popcorn. And, you know, they're selling you $15 worth of popcorn in a five-cent box with about yeah. 10 cents worth of popcorn. Yes, yeah. Kevin. We have one theater in town, and they open up on the weekends here, and they sell their concessions. Yeah. No movies. They just no open movies. up for concessions. Really? So you can People go People drive oh, by there, and they're buying oh, their popcorn. That's cool. Take it they yeah. say, yeah. go ahead and binge. Stop by, buy our popcorn and our, you know, milk duds and our ice. That's cool. Or, what a cool idea. Yeah. And buy it and bring it home and watch the movies in my house. Yeah. yeah. That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's mm. nice. <laughs> and they give you an extra bag because they refill your popcorn if you buy a large one. That's cool. Wow. That, that's a, that, 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 that's one way of somebody being smart and trying to survive yeah. this, uh, this whole pandemic. You yeah, know? and people are actually going over there and buying it. Yeah. Uh, uh, as I say, restaurants, they'll reopen, but they'll have half the capacity. Because you'll Maybe have to be further apart. Come back. What? Drive-ins. drive-ins will come back. They were mentioning that drive-ins yeah. are actually doing pretty well. Some of them are still open. They're about they're only oh, uh, something like about a handful of them in the entire country, but the ones that are there are now open and running the major feature films. Yeah. I yeah, there's one by me. It's closed right now. Really? It's, I thought they were all flea markets at this point. No, we still have a great one here. Yeah, yeah. but I mean the fact is that uh, I mean that's a way you could go and and have social distancing. Of course, yeah, you, right. you know it it uh, it's not much fun when it's raining. Mm. You know. <laughs> I like drive-ins. You know, they, they, I did too. Uh, we go. Yeah. yeah we double feature for drive. nine bucks a person. Yeah. I, I remember when I was in high school, I had a 63 Chevrolet convertible Impala, and uh, they, they, it was ripped between the trunk and uh, and the thing. So I'd put like six guys in the trunk, and yeah. then they'd crawl through the back. <laughs> See how many you can get in. <laughs> well, the thing is that, 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 that there was a period of time there in American history where the American automobile, right after the war, where the American automobile was this thing that you use for everything. You would go to a drive-in and you would uh, eat in the drive-in with a tray hanging out of your window, which I thought was I the most, uh, I always like felt that. it was the most uncomfortable way to eat dinner. You How know? did you eat like that? Remember in Happy Days, they show the food on the side. Yeah. yeah. No. Like, did that. He used to come to your car with yeah. the tray and yeah. hanging on your window. Yeah. yeah. Uh, White yeah. Castle. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. No, White Castle Maybe wasn't Sean a drive-in. Uh, Sonic still Castle does it. Drive-ins, no? Yeah. No, it was a walk-in. They oh, were they were very small. Little hamburgers. They were very small, but uh, yeah, McDonald's always was a White drive-in. White Castle still still around. Yeah, they're still around. They yeah. don't have to drive. They don't have the yeah. people come out to your cars anymore. Now, I imagine McDonald's is probably doing good business in Burger King, where they got drive-in windows right now. I think they're yeah, probably do doing. Do you want to touch the? Do you want to touch the bag or whatever? You know. Yeah, the, because I have my rubber gloves. I love the smell of McDonald's when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. oh. And by the way, by <laughs> I the way, love I love that smell. I went to Chili's the other day. I ordered some hamburgers, and they put them on a table, so nobody touches anything. They they come out with the to go. They put it on the table. Mm -hmm. you, you give them the credit card. They put it in a uh, in a in a in a basket. <clears throat> Take it in. They do what they got to do. But the food they bring out, they stick it on the table, and then you take it off the table, and it's in a yeah. bag. Yeah, but I mean, you guys, uh, you guys have Sonics on the East Coast? Yes, we have it in Long Island. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think they, we have. They, them. they still yeah. deliver out to your they car the on the tray. Yeah, yeah. they do the in skate, Texas too. With the skates, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and the uh, uh, what's that burger place that's real popular in California? In out. Uh, now in -out, yeah. have a drive-through, and so they have people standing in line. Uh, that will uh, walk up to your car. They take your order, yeah, and that's when it you gets get busy. to the window. They take the money, and then they give you the food. 
Yeah, but you know that's not a bad way for. If I had a movie theater, that's a great idea. Just say we're selling pop. We have the concessions are open. Come on in, yeah. get your popcorn, that's a get lot your of milk. Square footage that's empty though. Huh? Yeah. Oh no question, but it's something. Yeah, I oh, just I just think that. I think we're seeing going to see the end of the movie theater after this mm-hmm. is over with. I, I just don't yeah. see anybody going to one and sitting next to somebody. Either that or they're going to have to cut the the amount of seats in a theater in half by spacing them further apart, and then they're not going to make as much money. No, you, and when, you, when you're in business, you either, let's say you can fit 100 people in a room and you charge them $10. Mm-hmm. But if you can only fit 50 people in the room, you charge them $20, and it's the same thing. So well, you're wants, already charging them twenty dollars. So you're going to charge them forty? You might have to. People are going to stay home and watch them for twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> yeah, because they had an interview with a guy here in a theater in San Jose, and he was looking at his at his theater at the Bal, uh, what was it Balboa? I don't remember the name of it, but they were looking at a theater, and he's and he's going, I don't know how I'm going to do this because you have to do six feet apart uh, horizontally, mm-hmm. but then you also yeah. have to go back to front. Kathy Gore cut off a whole nother row. Yeah. Wait Kathy, a minute, how Kathy, do you sit Kathy, next to your girlfriend and hold hands in the theater? Exactly. Kathy uh, Gore, who's, who wrote a note on our chat room, says the big box stores and enclosed retail malls replace the drive ins. Now the online shopping and the coronavirus are going to kill the malls. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, they, oh, and if you think about it, the, the malls are something else that's going to go too, because again, you're going to be enclosed in a room with a bunch of other people. Uh, malls yeah. went away when they when air conditioning got popular in people's homes. What happened was, uh, you know, the enclosed mall was popular because of air conditioning. I'm sorry, and, air conditioning's been around a lot longer than that. I understand, yeah. but that's that's when the enclosed mall started to become really popular. Oh yeah, no, but uh, you're talking about the mall where it was just. I don't even yeah, know. They, they mall. call them even call them malls. They call well, them strip malls, which are outside. Yeah. And there's enclosed malls. Yeah. But uh, all of the anchor stores have gone bankrupt. You got Sears. You got yeah. Macy's. You got yeah, yeah. Penny anchors. Or, yeah. Well, you know, they, you know, you want to know where Sears and Roebuck really animal. screwed up. Catalog and internet. They had a catalog. Everybody got the Sears catalog. They've all mm-hmm. ordered out of the Sears catalog. That is only one step removed from what Amazon became. And they never, Penny, thought it, they, 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 they never thought they never thought early on to convert their, their their catalog into an online business. Sears had the first porn. I, I used to look at the oh, yeah. oh, underwear models yeah. in the catalog. <laughs> Well, those were the, they got bras in there. Those were those were the Macy's ads on Sunday in New York with the women in the bras and everything. Yeah, but you know, when you're ten years, eight years old, six years when old, I was, when, Sears when, Cat- when I was like twelve, I was like erasing the bras off of them. You know, with an eraser. <laughs> yeah, see if you can see underneath. <laughs> yeah, right. But exactly. the pages were too thin. But you know, it's you know, I'm I'm not I don't know how long I'm going to be around for. But I will tell you now that I'll probably be around long enough to see the entire society change. I mean, it already has worldwide. Yes, Brian, we'll give you the last word. Huh? Yeah. What about some of these? What about some of these big groups? I mean, I don't know who you guys listen to, but like you know, Beyonce or whoever those people are. You know, those people are going on a world tour. They sell out stadiums, yeah. arenas, and they're making millions and millions of dollars off of that. Goodbye. Yeah. 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 Goodbye. For now. And yeah. People yeah. match sure, themselves now. up against the, the, the theater the stage. in San Francisco and San Fran- in Berkeley, uh, David's place. Uh, I've been donating money because those people aren't going to be coming back to work for a long time. You know, they put on shows and uh, it's like a mosh pit there, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, that's not going to happen uh, anymore. So, you know, I've been donate it just to keep these people yeah well they'll just start charging a hundred dollars for you to watch beyonce on pay-per-view you know yeah hey I'm listen still- everybody that's it i hear the theme it's uh, going on there oh, in the wow. background brian boy do we like having you here you were you we, we always go to you for the for the straight scoop you know <laughs> I know you yes. don't, you, you, but you, you're terrific, Brian. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank Charlie, you. you're yeah, always. You not have an agenda. Uh, yeah, Charlie, <laughs> you're, 
Yeah, like you don't. Uh, Charlie, thank you so much. <laughs> Phil, thank you so much. Rob, as always, a bit I bit a fond to do. Jeff, always good to have you there. Tony, swell fella. I like uh, my Santa Claus, Kevin. And, of course, Bree in Malaysia, where everybody is dying fast, just like we are here in America's most infected city. Anyway, <laughs> hey, everybody, give a big, uh, big wave goodbye, okay? And I'll wave goodbye at you, and then I will push a button, which will show only me. Okay, there we go. There we go. There's our, uh, there's our um, uh, citizen panel for tonight. They're all out of here, and hopefully they'll go running over to where uh, the deer and the antelope play over there, Jack Bishop's program in the intersection, which is next over most of this same gab net. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow night for our Friday version of the program, same time, same station in life, 1030. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night.